Hello and welcome to Bass Guitar Review. My name is Ryan Barsby and today we're going to be taking a look back into the Bass Guitar Hall of Fame and seeing if this reincarnation lives up to the name. This is the Hofner Violin Ignition Bass. <laughs> Now this bass holds quite a bit of pedigree to say the least. And yes, it is nowhere near as visible as the likes of Fender or Gibson in terms of widespread usage. You won't often see this bass being used at gigs or at a wedding reception, but one man in particular put the bass and arguably the company on the map. And that man was Paul McCartney, bassist of a wee little band from Liverpool you may have heard of called the Beatles. But before the left-handed Liverpudlian got involved, Hofner were a successful violin crafted company operating out of Germany, founded by a man named Walter Hofner. And in 1955, he came up with the idea of a bass that would appeal to upright players that no longer wanted to lug around such an enormous bit of kit. Hence, the violin-esque body shape. But because the body was completely hollow and the parts were repurposed guitar parts, they were relatively inexpensive to make. And that's how they were branded. Now, the model that we're going to be looking at today is a reissue and slightly different take of the 1960s classic that was famed by the Beatles. However, unlike its aging counterpart, the ignition base is crafted out of China and not Germany. Hence the attractive low price tag at around £355. So, in this video, we'll be diving into this base's specs and tones, and we'll see if it can stand up next to its famous aging German grandpa. Starting at the top, we can see the iconic Hofner headstock and logo printed under a very heavy layer of lacquer. The hardware is all nickel, including the tuners, which feature plastic caps to mimic mother of pearl, which was what the 1960s model would have sported back in the day. The neck is a 30 inch short scale with a nut width of 42 millimeters, making it slightly wider than its 60s counterpart, but still just as comfortable to play. The neck itself is a thick, almost U-shaped neck like a baseball bat, making it extremely comfortable to hold if you have big paws, and it's constructed out of a single piece of hard maple with a glued headstock. The bass has a high gloss polyurethane finish across the whole instrument, and on the body, underneath the lovely black transparent finish, we can see amazing spruce wood being used for the top. Flipping the bass over, we can see distinct stripes of flame maple, which has also been used on the sides of this beautiful Hofner. Moving on to the face of the base, we can see the set of pickups that you won't find anywhere else on any other brand of base. These are Hofner's own nickel staple pickups, which are designed to match the original sound of the 60s model as closely as possible. Moving further back and down, we can see a rosewood bridge and a trapeze tailpiece holding the strings in place. Heading south, we come across the infamous Hofner control plate. And if it looks confusing, then please don't worry. It's because you're right. It is confusing. We start with the knobs, which act as individual volume controls for the respective pickups. So there's no master tone on this bass. Next, we have three switches, treble, bass, and rhythm slash solo. The treble switch is an on-off switch for the bridge pickup. And the bass engages the neck pickup. Turn on one pickup and you'll turn off the other. So if you wish to have both pickups on simultaneously, then you have to in fact flick both switches to the off position, not the on. Right, stick with me here, we're almost there. And finally, we have the rhythm slash solo switch, which is the closest thing you'll have to a tone control. Rhythm, being slightly low in volume, and having less treble in the signal. Whereas the solo option 
is brighter and louder comparatively. As I've previously mentioned, the Hofner ignition base will set you back around £355. But before we dive into any thoughts and discussions, let's hear some more classic retro tones. At first glance, the £355 price tag for a genuine Hofner might be a little bit too good to be true. And in one sense of the word, it is true. This base in particular falls under a branch of the Hofner company that in respect is what Epiphone is to Gibson. The base is constructed in China and in an effort to keep the price tag down and low, some corners have been cut here. For instance, the plastic pit guard has some rough edges and fray plastic around the sides. Furthermore, the guard is drilled directly into the face of the body at two points, unlike the 60s models. So if you're gonna go for that Paul McCartney pit guardless look, then you may suffer slightly from relatively ugly holes that the guard leaves behind in the face of the body. Incidentally, another cost-cutting diversion from the original base is the lack of a zero fret, just before the nut, which massively attributed to the original violin bass's woody yet brassy tone. And instead, we just have to make do with a plastic nut. However, all that being said, these are just nitpicks, because on the whole, this bass really is a great bang for your buck. Now, personally speaking, the first thing I recommend anyone doing when purchasing this base is take the round mount strings off straight away and invest in a set of flat mount strings for that iconic Hofner sound. The nickel pickups are very susceptible to scratches and tinny tones, which the round rounds do not help at all. The second thing to do, if you so wish, is to take a Phillips screwdriver and just slightly raise the height of the front pickup so that it matches the height of the bridge pickup. Both pickups output at almost an identical level. So why the front pickup is so low is beyond me. Doing this makes a whole world of difference to your tone, making the bass fuller and rounder and not so weak in comparison. The fact that the bass has a completely hollow cavity means that it has an impressive acoustic resonance and boasts a lovely mid-range that the Hofner violin bass is famed for. All in all, the ignition bass really does stay true to the original Hofner violin basses that it clearly takes inspiration from. From the wooden bridge, Hofner trapeze tailpiece, completely hollow body, and of course, the infamous control plate. This instrument, with a bit of getting used to, will really scream retro. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you want to be notified of our future content, please click the bell icon below and subscribe. And we look forward to seeing you next time on Bass Guitar Review.